When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Okay then, hope you're ready to begin. If you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. Yeah, hey there, I do this. Never fear losing. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove A real problem, but I solve them on Facebook. And if you think I'm going forward, then you told me fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I done to side, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the rear, boy. I've been winning for my kin folk. And I put on for my city from the intro. Fight! Let me have some fun! Ready? Then show me! This will be a good fight! Time for the breakdown. Let's see what we got here. So, right off the bat, I'm wondering who the hell this is. If this is going to be like a future, like playable character, or if maybe it, it could just be a character. I have no idea who the hell that is. Um, but that definitely looks like a fighter. This, I, I mean, that's that's definitely like a younger Hugo here. I mean, he's rocking the same colors. He's got the leopard print, muscle tank top. Is that going to be a stage right there? Are these two different stages up here, too? It's got me wondering here. Let's see. I'm really hoping that, that they they make, like, they make a return for, like, older Hugo. Like, he shows up. That's making me think of, uh... Of a Tekken character actually over there, but we got uh, say like we got Luke here again. We got another shot of Hugo. This is an old school shot of Hugo. Um, made me wonder what is that? Who's that guy? Hmm. Now I'm kind of wondering, like, are you actually gonna be able to like? Are like are they gonna be doing like different stats and stuff in terms when you go of looking um, for strength. in terms of when you're like training in this game it's or battling like people? Game. This journey doesn't have a real How far are they gonna go with this? Okay then. Get them we'll fucking Popeye arms. If you want to start off in arms, right in this city, hit the streets. Ooh. Yeah. So, like, right here, this kind of had me shook, because I didn't know if anybody notices, but this is actually the back of Abigail's uh, scrap metal. That's the back of his scrap metal. This street over here is kind of making me think of, um, I'm getting the Street Fighter 4 vibes. There was a stage in there where you're, like, on a, I think you're supposed to be in, like, Chinatown or something. Um, and then you got this big ass construction over here. 
Was that, was that, is this, is this, was that the construction level right there? Is that what that is? Because they do have this in the back. I think this is the, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't actually the Statue of Liberty at the time. It was a, I think it was a big ass statue of Hagar. I don't know. Yeah, so we got the, we got the scrap metal yard again. What the hell is that? Avocado burgers. Okay, we got a. They can build the building under construction. Got Capcom colors on it. Godspeed, Roasters Grill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't even get that. Then we got the statue of Mike Hager, which I'm pretty sure he's gone by now because he was old as hell. Like years ago there's no way he's still alive i mean i know i know he's a he's a game character but <laughs> hagger was old way back in the day so i like are you going to be able to jog around through all of this like running through traffic and actually like traveling around metro city so it's going to be like a um it's going to be like an alternate version of of you know, New York, they're literally gonna like take it and allow you to jog around in like a big hub world or something. And, if you think I'm gonna fold it and is this supposed to be the Mad Gear game? All these dudes with boxes on their heads? I know this is Mad Gear because this is, this is, um, I, I don't know if his, it depends on which version you played back in the day, but I know this dude, this is either, uh, his name is either Thrasher or Damned. Um, could, it could be both, to be honest. Um, but with the blonde dreads here, and I mean, this is like the dude from the first stage in, uh, the first boss in, uh, the first stage of, of Final Fight. Yeah, it sure as hell looks like him. I mean, it looks like you're able to jog around. I mean, look at that shit. This is gonna be crazy. Do over here and sure you can. City from the intro. Is he just fighting other avatars? What the hell is that? I have noticed that with the um, they have changed up the uh, the the art style some somewhat, where they it looks like they made the eyes smaller and they're trying to go for a little bit more. I don't want to say realistic, but kind of like they altered the 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 art style just a little bit. It looks it looks different to me. That's crazy. Now this I know that this is the little girl that uh, Chun Li was taking care of before. This has to be that little girl. What I'm wondering is, I could have swore that she would have been like older than that by now. <laughs> like. <laughs> Shouldn't you have been like, I don't know, around this age or something in the last game? I don't know. Maybe I'm off. They they always change in the timelines and shit. I noticed that they did not slim down Chun Li's thighs. They did not do that. Turn the back of the head. Now this dude, Jamie. This guy is this guy new? Because I, I haven't seen him before, but I don't know if that's like a. Um, Maybe I just missed him in some of the some of the character stories in the last game. This shit was clean though. Look at that. This game's gonna be hype as fuck. Let me have some fun. Ready? And show me. This will be a good fight. That'll be hype as fuck. Damn. She got duffed. Yeah, no. She still got ham legs. Um you know, before I didn't think Ryu was looking quite as jacked, but man, he he's he's pretty jacked here. I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe he's not quite as lean. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, the graphical change. Jesus! Get lit up. Wow. Oh my god. Oh 
here we go with the parries. Here we go with parries! <laughs> ain't, ain't no call for all that shit. That was big. So he's just gonna rip his neck out? Is that what, <laughs> Is that what we doing? Man, this game's gonna be wild as fuck. <laughs> That game's gonna be wild, bro. And I'm assuming this is gonna be like an online type lobby area because they got Battle Hub, like, we got Battle Hub all over the place. This is Battle Hub, Battle Hub, Battle Hub. Uh, we got Extreme, Game Center, Battle Hub. So I'm assuming this is the Battle Hub. <laughs> This must be where all the online stuff goes. So what is it, is it going to be like, we like make our own avatar? Because I'm pretty sure this this, uh, this black dude over here is just a placeholder. I don't think he's like an original Street Fighter or anything. Like he's going to be like a new character. I don't know, man. That looks, I mean, it looks good. It's looking really interesting to me. And it's coming out uh, 2023. Holy shit. That's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to dive into that. Um, I, I am wondering how they're gonna monetize this though, because the monetization on Street Fighter Five was kind of wild. Like, I don't know if people know this or if they remember it or not, but when that game was launched, it had a tiny roster. Um, there was a lot of complaints because there was a whole bunch of shit missing on that game. So I'm really wondering how like how capcom is going to handle this how far they're going to go with it in terms of the monetization um drawing it out and all that stuff it's going to be really interesting to see that's for damn sure also um i saw another trailer with uh they're supposed to be adding dynamic uh commentary which is making me wonder like what is that going to do uh, with the, I mean, it sounds interesting, but what about the, um, the actual commentator teams and people that work with the tournaments and stuff? How is that? How are they going to do that? You know, are they going to just like cut those guys out? I mean, cause if so, that kind of sucks. I mean, I like watching a lot of the tournaments and those guys get, you know, they get people pretty freaking hype off the game. Like, you know, friggin' uh, Tasty Steve, Yipes, like, there's a, there's a whole bunch of other people. I like seeing them get hyped, though. It's freaking crazy, so I don't know. Um, are they, are they gonna, like, bring them on board and, like, add their voiceover work, which would be kind of cool. They could just, you know, hire those dudes and, like, actually pay them. And, uh, you know, add, a, add some of their, some of those, those voices, you know? So it's, I mean, I, I think that'd be great, but I, I don't know about, uh, just trying to put like a, you know, just a standard kind of voice in there and then just call it a day. I, although I don't really know all the details on that. I just did. I did see a trailer on it. So I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to handle that. Hopefully that, hopefully they, they handle that in a good way, but, um, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.